Ignite. I hope you are okay. I hope you have had a good week so far and I hope that you are finding lots of things to do whilst you're at home. Today's story is about two men called Paul and Barnabas and their first journey that they went on to tell people the good news all about Jesus. Now I'm going to tell this story in a little bit of a different way today. I really hope that you enjoy it. Let me know what you think and if you'd like me to do some more stories like this again. So here we go, here's today's story. It's found in Acts chapter 14, if your adults would like to know. In Iconium, Paul and Barnabas went and spoke in the synagogue. They spoke so well that many more Jews and Greeks believed, but the ones who didn't believe said unkind things about them and tried to turn them against Paul and Barnabas. Paul and Barnabas spent a lot of time there and just kept telling the people about how great God is. There were still people plotting against them. And Paul and Barnabas went to Lystra and Derby to tell people about Jesus there. In Lystra, there was a man who was lame. His legs didn't work and he couldn't walk. The man listened to what Paul had to tell him about the Lord. Paul knew that this man really wanted to be able to walk and he looked at him and said, get up on your feet. And at that, the man jumped up and began to walk. When the people who had walked past the man every day, they thought this was amazing. They shouted in their own language that gods have come in human form. They didn't mean God that we worship, but pretend gods. They called Paul Zeus and Barnabas Hermes because he was the main speaker. People brought them bulls and wreaths to the city gates because they wanted to worship them and offer sacrifices to them. When Paul and Barnabas heard about this, they tore their clothing and rushed into the crowd saying, Why are you doing this? We are bringing you the good news, telling you to turn from these false gods and turn to the living God. He's the one who made everything and has shown kindness to you by sending you rain for growing your crops and food to eat. He has filled your hearts with joy. Even saying these things, the crowd still wanted to give gifts to them. Then some of the Jews who were saying unkind things about Paul and Barnabas came from Antioch and turned some of the people against them. They threw rocks and stones at Paul and thought he was dead, so they dragged him outside the city gates. When he was well, they returned to the city and told the believers that we must go through hard things to enter God's kingdom. If people make life difficult for you, because you follow Jesus, just keep on believing. God has wonderful things waiting for you. After Paul and Barnabas had been to other places to share the news of Jesus, they sailed from Attilia to Antioch, and where they told everyone about the work that they had done and what God had done through them and opened the door of faith to the Gentiles that is, those who were not Jewish. So in that story, we heard some of the places that Paul and Barnabas went to share the good news. They went to places with some funny names like Lystra and Derby and Attila and then and Iconium as well. And there are a few other places with some funny names as well. And they told people all about Jesus. And in the story, we heard that some people didn't like what they told them about Jesus. And some people got a bit confused and they thought that Paul and Barnabas were false gods. And we call that idols. And that's a big word that you'll learn more about as you get older. But this story tells us that it's really important that we know who God is and that we worship the one true God. So we're going to say a prayer now to thank God that we know him and to ask him 
to help us worship him and to love him. So we're going to close our eyes and say a prayer. Jesus, thank you for Paul and Barnabas and how they shared the good news of you with lots of people in lots of different places. Thank you that you kept them safe, even when there were people who were unkind to them. And God, we pray that you will help us to just worship you and to follow you and not to follow anything else um, that we want to, might think is more important than you. We pray that you will be with us all this week as we do go about our things, go to nursery, we'll stay at home. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I hope you have a really good week, guys, and I will see you again next week. Bye.